In the Ming Dynasty, the Henry system is simple and complicated. Simple because in the Ming Dynasty, the Henry system only includes three ranks: Huang Hou, the Empress, Fei, consort, and Ping, imperial concubine. Complicated because Ming emperors frequently adjust the titles in those ranks. Same as other dynasties in the Ming Dynasty, as the wife of the emperor, there is only one empress, Huang Hou. In Ming Dynasty, no number limitation in consort and imperial concubine. According to the historical documents we have so far, in Ming founding emperor Zhu Yuanzhang's time, Guifei noble consort is the highest rank consort, but there is no records about imperial women in the rank imperial concubine. So we don't know Zhu Yuanzhang didn't have imperial concubine. Or those imperial concubines were not recorded. In 1382, Zhu Yuanzhang's wife, the Empress Ma, passed away. He was extremely sad and refused to promote the Empress anymore. Zhu Yuanzhang selected Shu Fei Li Shi to manage the inner court. Meanwhile, Zhu Yuanzhang added the character Huang. Before Shu Fei, after Huang Shu Fei, Imperial Consort Shu passed away. Ning Fei, Consort Ning, managed the inner court. She also got the honor title Huang Ning Fei, Imperial Consort Ning. After Zhu Yuanzhang, no Ming Emperor added the character Huang before Consort's honor title. To ink indicate this consort was special. The Emperor Yongle only had one Empress Xu Shi. When the Empress Xu was alive, Yongle didn't promote any other imperial women. In 1407, the Empress Xu passed away. One year later, Yongle started to promote consorts. And the imperial concubines. In Yongle's time, the recorded imperial concubine titles included Zhao Yi, Jie Yu, and Mei Ren. Before the Empress Xuanzong, Guifei noble consort is a honor honorary title. When the emperor loved a consort so much. But couldn't promote this consort to the empress. He could promote this consort to the noble consort, but the noble consort just got an honor. Her living conditions, clothing standards, etc., were as same as the regular consort. But because Xuanzong loved his noble consort Sun very much. He first time gave the noble consort golden stamp, which was only given to the empress before. After Xuanzong, all noble consorts could get golden stamp and golden certifications. In 1435, Xuanzong passed away. One noble consort and nine consorts sacrificed for him. In those consorts, only the noble consort got the consort, the title consort Hui, when Xuanzong was alive. Other nine consorts got the consort title because of human sacrifice. No record about those women's other titles and stories. When Xuanzong was alive. He once promoted a girl to Guo Ping, Imperial Concubine Guo. No records about other Imperial Concubine.
The Emperor Yingzhong of Ming had one empress, one noble consort, and eighteen consorts. No imperial concubine. According to the book Ming Shi: History of Ming, the title Huang Guifei, Imperial Noble Consort, first appeared in Ming Xianzhong's time. This title was created by Xianzhong to show his love to his true love Wan Zhenerr. Again, in the Ming Dynasty, Imperial Noble Consort was an honorary title. Xianzhong didn't have imperial concubine, but several consorts got their consort title when Xianzhong was seriously sick. So we don't know before that whether those women had a formal title or not. Emperor Xiaozhong only had one empress and didn't have. Any other imperial women? Emperor Wu Zhong was very special. He worked as the emperor for sixteen years. When he was alive, he didn't like living in the Forbidden City. Wu Zhong only had four former imperial women, including one empress, two consorts, and one maiden. But. Wu Zhong had lots of lovers, who living with Wu Zhong outside the Forbidden City. Those women couldn't be recorded by historical documents. Emperor Jia Jing inherited the throne in fifteen twenty one. In the following ten years, he didn't have any kids. In fifteen thirty one. Jia Jing decided to select some girls as imperial women. To encourage great girls participated in the imperial selection, Jia Jing promised, once the girl was selected, she could get the title Pin, imperial concubine. In this year, nine girls were selected as the imperial concubine. And the title Imperial Concubine was formally created. Jia Jing regulated the emperor could have nine imperial concubines. Later, Ming empress kept the rank Imperial Concubine, but the number was no limitation. According to the local historical records. Danyang Xianzhi, Emperor Wan Li had a imperial woman, Guo Shi, whose title was Guiren, Noble Lady. The Emperor Xizhong also had two imperial women with the title Noble Lady, because when the Qin Emperor created the harem system, they adopted lots of Ming inner court rules, and in the Qin Dynasty. The rank under imperial concubine was noble lady, so some researchers believed after Jia Jing, noble lady was a rank under imperial concubine, because in the Ming Dynasty, the emperor could freely pr- promoted his imperial women to the consort. Ming noble ladies definitely. Didn't get the emperor's favor, so it's reasonable that almost no records about the imperial women in this rank. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.